This is ABTV, Animal Bites Television. For animal lovers, by animal lovers. Hey, how's it going, guys? Everything needs to eat. It's the natural order of things. The predator-prey dynamic has been in effect for hundreds of millions of years and probably won't be stopping anytime soon. We all know the basic methods used by animals to hunt. Stalk, chase, bite, stab, and so on. But some predators have evolved ways of capturing prey that goes well beyond the realm of normality. I'm talking, of course, about the five weirdest hunters in the animal kingdom. My name is Jason Miller, and you're watching Five Weird Animal Facts. Number one is no other than the bobbit worm a large worm that lives buried in the bottom of the seafloor waiting for fish to get close enough. And then... <coughs> they have five tentacles on their head which are able to sense when prey is nearby. Once an extremely unlucky fish gets within strike range, the bobbit worm shoots out of its burrow and latches onto it with its powerful jaws. The bobbit worm attacks its prey with so much strength and speed that occasionally it ends up biting the prey in half with its sharp pinchers. They reach sexual maturity at four inches but are able to grow to an amazing ten feet in length although specimens of around three feet are much more common. That's it, just three feet of this. <laughs> Number two on this list is a species which I love oh so much, the alligator snapping turtle. Not only are they the largest freshwater turtle in North America, they also have one of the most ingenious and energy efficient ways of capturing prey. They lay motionless at the river bottom with their mouths wide open. On their tongue is a fleshy lure that wiggles around and looks like a small worm. Fish swimming by see the lure, not knowing that there's a giant turtle attached to it, and it goes over to the snapper's mouth expecting an easy meal. But because irony is cruel, the fish itself becomes the easy meal. Contrary to the popular myth that alligator snapping turtles have the most powerful bite in the animal kingdom, their jaw pressure is actually equal to only about 200 newtons. Roughly the same bite pressure as humans. But wait a minute, snapping turtles can bite off fingers. Yeah, so can humans. Predator number three, the Epomis beetle. Like the alligator snapper, the larva of this beetle uses a lure to capture its prey. The lure being its entire body and its prey being frogs and toads. The insect wiggles around looking all delicious so when a hungry amphibian hops by, it sees it and attempts to eat it. At this point, the larva dodges the attack and latches onto the toad with its hooked mouth parts. It then hangs onto the animal while eating it alive. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. F nature. Just kidding, the adult beetles have a much more varied diet, but they still enjoy some frog and toad every once in a while if they get the chance. Instead of using itself as a lure, the beetle bites onto the amphibian's back and makes an incision which damages the muscles connecting the animal's rear legs. Within a few minutes, the prey is paralyzed and the beetle is free to eat. I think it's time for some cat therapy after that last one, so number four on the list is the margay. This small jungle feline is native to Central and South America and reaches an adult size of only nine pounds. It's a solitary nocturnal animal that spends almost all of its time in the trees. What's so special about the margay is that it's the only neotropical predator that's ever been observed using auditory mimicry in order to capture prey. The cat was documented imitating the call of an infant pied tamarin in an attempt to lure in a group of adults. This sort of behavior has never been seen by a predatory feline, which rely more on stealth and speed to capture their food. It shows a previously unknown level of intelligence, and scientists have compared it to tool use by chimps. Let's move on now to number five, the archer fish, whose sharp shooting abilities would make Oliver Queen proud. Shout out to anyone who gets that reference. Instead of using a bow and arrow, the archer fish shoots water out of its mouth by compressing their gill covers and forcing water through a narrow channel made by their tongue in the roof of their mouth. It swims with its lips just breaking the water's surface and is able to hit an insect on a leaf with pinpoint accuracy from as far away as three meters. Its incredible sight helps it judge the exact distance and force that it needs in order to shoot down its prey. Another really cool thing is that when archerfish are young and still learning how to master this ability, they'll often hunt in small groups. That way they increase their chances and observe others. Social and observational learning in fish is pretty remarkable given the fact that they're... fish. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments section what animals and topics that you'd like to see in future episodes. Also make sure to like Five Red Animal Facts on Facebook and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Miller's Wildlife. As always guys, my name is Jason Miller. And I'll see you next week on 5 Weird Animal Facts. I'm a wildlife rescuer, field expert, and conservationist. Welcome to Corey's Wild World. This is ABTV.